Okay, everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources. We got a very busy day today. Lots and lots of stuff to do. I'm going to get right into it. The first thing I've been doing is been letting this run, the ship dock, this medium ship dock. Letting it build takes a little bit of time. And uh, as soon as this is done, we're going to build a ship. And we're going to start getting our shipping routes and stuff settled. I want to see whether or not this this bridge arrangement is, is tall enough. Uh, there's a little bit of a incline here right it's a little high ground and then it goes down i'm hoping this is uh tall enough if it's not we'll have to rebuild it that'll be expensive but as you can see we've been saving up cash and we're uh over 7.3 million rubles here ready to spend uh, as a uh, well as soon as we get there is the ship yeah yeah yeah. the train's already there it just arrived oh yeah two million rubles worth very good okay so uh first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna complete uh, sort of the transition to fully electric trains. We actually have a couple of trains that are diesel still on the map. And as long as they're able to refuel, they're able to keep going. And I've been letting them go, but I'm now cutting them off. So this is, I think, our last refueling station we have available. It's right here. And the only trains that are diesel is the clothing train that comes in here to get the clothing. And then there's this one, which is responsible for bringing electrical components over here just to sort of satisfy construction projects and stuff. Those are the only two trains that are diesel. Right now, we've got 150 tons in here, uh, more than that. And I've gone ahead and I've cut the line to this. So we will not be providing any more fuel to this. That's not good enough for me. Nope, I need to do better than that. So we're going to go to the road vehicles i want to find a big oil tanker let's go with these are the same i'm gonna go with this one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this oil tanker real quick and most likely we'll end up just selling this again unless we can add it to a building or something maybe i don't know i want you to come here i want you to uh, load fuel and i want you to take it all the way over and drop it off right here and you're gonna wait till you're it doesn't it doesn't really matter you don't need to wait till you're unloaded just do it so what it's going to do is it's going to pick up all the, picked up the uh, fuel that's stuck in here. I don't want to waste it. And we're going to bring it over here. And that's going to basically cut us off. So once this is empty and we've returned the fuel to this, then uh, we're going to go. Now, this is still going to send fuel to the front tank for... It might have been faster to just... Uh, no. There's actually, a, there's actually no road connection to this. Wait, what? Is there actually no road connection here? Yeah, there isn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, is it? Does it matter? It hasn't mattered yet. And there's there's helicopters in case it goes on fire. So, I guess whatever. Uh, in any case, this is still going to send fuel here because we we export this fuel, right? Uh, so what I need to do, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up a fuel pumping station over here. That's going to let us get fuel so that we can provide fuel to a network for our boats and stuff. And I'm not entirely sure, uh, like, how intensive that is in terms of, like, I haven't done anything with ships yet. So uh, anything that relates to boats at all, aside from the purchasing of boats, I've built one of these in sandbox just so I can see the prices in boats. Uh, hint, they're incredibly expensive. Uh, but just aside from that, I haven't really done much with boats. So, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these pumping stations right here, pumping Harbor. And I was going to do something else here. That's why it was flattened a little bit bigger and a little bit wider, but I've decided that I'm going to uh, change my mind on that and I'll, I'll put it here instead. So what I'd like to do is put a pumping Harbor right about here and we're just going to let them build this. And now we need to provide fuel to this. Now, I was thinking about putting another refinery down and having twice the fuel production. But I'm going to change that plan just because I don't think it's worth it. I think we're producing enough fuel, more than enough fuel, to provide fuel for everyone in the whole republic and still export. But ideally, our exports are going to stop being the fuel resources and start being higher value things later. Right now, it doesn't really matter. I'm making a ridiculous amount of money, uh, and I can spend that pretty quickly. So what I need to do here, instead of having another fuel refinery and trying to figure out how to get workers there and all that stuff, we're going to instead just reroute this. So underneath, we have the fuel tank, which has very little in it. And 
first off, I need to get more people working here. Like, I need to, to open this up and have it be a maximum thing and everybody work here, okay? As long as I have... As long as I have the bitumen tank full, they don't produce the fuel. So we're actually underproducing fuel just because as soon as this fills up, we can't. So one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this export train, as soon as I figure out where it is, right here, I'm going to tell this train to load more bitumen. So we still have a 29% on the back side, on the other side. And I think that's probably okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn one of the fuel tanks and turn that into this resource and then i think i'm going to do it again this is going to allow us to preserve a little bit more fuel and export a little bit more bitumen since we're doing a really good job of keeping up on that and we're not using a whole lot of it because the only thing we use it for is making asphalt and we're not making a whole lot of asphalt since predominantly i've been building roads with rubles <laughs> so yeah <laughs> Um, so we have all of this. We, we did build this. This is this was all built by them. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pay for these. We have a lot of homes over here, and uh, there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of capacity for people to come and move over here. Of course, it's not very fast. Uh, they're not going to move over here very quickly. And look, there's lots of people without a job too. 417 people need a job. 417 workers. How about you? Are you going? I need that train. Is this is this train? Holy crap. This is a full train and it left. It just left Sosnikova. It, it just left Sosnikova and there's still 412 people waiting here. So we're doing great on getting a source of workers close to chemicals. All right. In addition to expanding our flow of resources, we're going to be focusing the next few videos, especially on just moving things from one place to another. Uh, and then, and, you know, on the side, we're going to do the boats. Uh, we need to get more heat to Sostakova. This winter was a pretty brutal winter, and there's actually some houses, although they seem to be filling up now. Um, yeah, over here. Yeah, so there's actually, there's some houses that are just like, people are dying, right? Because there's not enough heat. There's just not enough. We only have this one pump right here. It's 384% capacity. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put another heating uh, another heater over here and I think we're gonna start this with an aggregate uh, load unload let's try this okay we got 50,000 population it's nice it's very good uh, aggregate unloading okay and I'm gonna put it like pretty close to the border I think maybe right over about here let's say this ought to be good and then we're gonna get ourselves storage. Not not this, uh, aggregate. Let's go small, we don't need it big. And we're gonna yeah, do it over maybe like about here, let's say. If we can get it like maybe like this. And as long as those conveyor belts are built. And then I wanna also go and get, it's gonna be in the heating section and I wanna get one of these. I think we'll do the big heating plant. Sostakova is going to be developing, and there's a lot of homes here. I'm going to make sure we can just do it really well. Uh, so we're going to do it about here. And I think if we if we kind of angle it to be maybe like this, I can get most of these people to, I think, just walk to work, which would be kind of nice. Um, there's a little bit of pollution here, of course, but we have health care. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, I think, right about here. Mm, now, now... I need to figure out the rail system though. The rail needs to be able to, yeah, the railing is a problem. Let's move this over just a little bit more. Uh, where is it? Right here, small aggregate storage. We're gonna move you over to about here instead. This should be fine. I'd like to do this as best as I can without needing any elevators, which, I think I need to move this just a little bit more. I don't want to use the uh, the lifts and stuff, those extra things. So if I could go maybe like this. Is this good? And then heat. Put this heating plant in like so. I think I can curve that. I, I should say I hope I can curve that, but let's try this. 
Okay, we have a conveyor belt there. Good. Now let's see if we can get the rail to do to, to act nicely. We're going to bring this around. And it looks to me like I might have to... Well, okay, never mind. I thought I had to redo the power. And I probably do anyway, to be honest, because... Hmm. I don't know if we're going to have enough power here. I might need to do something about power. To power all of this. Because I don't think this is even in range of the current substation. As I, don't, I wouldn't... This might be, but I don't think this is. So I think I'm going to need another substation anyway. Let's go around, and we're just going to come like, yep, like this. And then around like, like this. It's really just... Yeah, take her wide. About like, like that. And then we go in like this. And then I want this to come around. We're going to loop this over towards the other track. So that this can be something that... Oh, wow. Can I... Oh, you're not going to let me do it, huh? Okay, hang on. We'll do this. We'll go a different method with this. Different tactic. I want to take it from... Let's say from here. Yep, like this. Okay, and then can you come around? Yep, there we go. That's better. Uh, it's a little bit... It'll do. It's not the cleanest curve, but it'll do. So we end up having a coal train now, right? That can take people, take the coal through here, and it just curves itself around, drops off the coal, and then gets back onto here to continue its route, all right? So that's going to be our coal train route. And let's go ahead and just ruble that. I'm also going to ruble, I think, the rest of this. We're good here, and I want to... I don't want to wait. I want to make sure we have heat and make sure it's working. So we're going to take this and this and uh, we'll do dollars on this one. We have over a million. Okay. Next, we need to find a way to get the roads connected to this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little walking path off of here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, just, just pull it all off. It doesn't have to connect in multiple places. You should be able to go like that just fine. And then the road with streets is going to come up to here. And then what I'm going to do is upgrade this road to about here at least. And then you're going to come over and connect it there. Yep. Build that too. And I, I just wanted to get it fully operational. And so now that we have this up and running... What I can do is I can have my coal train. I can amend the route of the coal train to bring coal to here, right? And now we just need power, which I think should be fairly straightforward to bring here. Let's just take a look at it really quick. So this is kind of, I don't want to say it's overloaded. That's not really the case, but I think what I'm going to do instead here is put in a switch. Maybe right about here. Right here ought to be fine. Let's put the switch like this. And then what we'll have... Go ahead and build this. What we'll have is this gets removed. All of this gets stepped all the way back. And I want to have full capacity to bring it all the way to here. Okay. And then we'll have the standard lines going this direction to hook up. Oh, two different types of wire. Okay. I need... I want to expand this then. Let's bring this... Let's just expand this whole thing to be a bigger wire. Like this. Uh, you know? No. Let's bring it closer. Let's bring it uh, straight through here. Yeah, I like this better. It just feels cleaner to me. And we'll go like that. May have been a good idea to put the roads in first, actually. Just to get the road in. So what we want to do is, I think we could probably get away with gravel on the roads right here. And then we'll just hook it up to this. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Now I can get the the lines put in again. So right from here. Nope. Oh, right there. All right. We, we weren't going to be in the way anyway. Fine. That should send power that direction. And then we'll have another substation put in I think probably right here and then this one will have the power coming off of this what we end up with 
It's distributed power. That looks good. And all of this stuff is on. Okay. Yep. Seems fine to me. And this should keep these guys warm. So now what we can do is I can say, hey, you guys who don't have a job, you're all working here. Ooh. Oh, this isn't built yet. Hang on. There we go. Can I work here? No connections. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Really? Wait a minute. How is there no connections to this? Go there. Come on. Don't tell me there's no connections. You could totally reach that building. Ah. I mean, you can, but there has got to be an easier way. Is there like a footpath on this side? There is, but... Uh... All right. This is going to look weird. I don't particularly agree with it. We're going to make that work, though. Okay. They should be able to easily get into this building now. So you guys are going to work here. Always leave. Always keep the heat on. Okay. Uh, and then there's only 11 people in this building right now. So we're going to distribute them. We're going to get more of them. Let's go ahead and turn that overlay off. This has four people without a job. 11 people without a job. 15 people without a job. 14 people without a job. We'll get these three. These three buildings. And we're going to go ahead and put you guys in here. I'm just all through here, I guess. Yep. Then you... Oop. Then you guys, we're going to go to spread you out like amongst these buildings. You know, we're just going to move you into this neighborhood, pretty much. Make sure that we have plenty of people here. Okay? Good. All right. So you should be able to work here and keep the lights on now. So uh, at that heat place. So now I need my coal train. Which finding that is uh, actually it's gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was, that was easier than I thought it'd be. So I think your route right now takes you to this waypoint, which is perfect, and it's gonna bring you around. And you come out this way, and it looks like your first stop right now is the Charlie Vince train station here. Now I've gone ahead right and amended this. We we changed this, so there's no there's no more fuel pumps, right? We, uh, we got rid of it. It's a nice, cleaner path. But this also doesn't connect back again. And it's it's harder to do this. So I think what I'm going to have this do is... comes off of this side. So what we're going to have is this path is going to come over. And we're going to have it connect, I think, here. All right. Like that. Yeah. And then we'll say that this is a one-way. So you only go... We don't actually have to say that because this is... This is already a one-way track, so I don't have to mark it at all here. But to separate it from the purple section, I do have to do this. So why don't we just separate this? That's already good. Okay. Uh, and then that coal train, which I just lost. Come over here. Find it again. Coal train. Here, here. The coal train is going to do something different. A different route. Instead of stopping here, which requires it to cross the tracks onto the opposite facing track and go this way. Instead of doing that... Yep. What we're going to have you do is after this waypoint, I want you to click that waypoint. And then you're going to keep going all the way through. You're going to find yourself over here. And you're going to whip yourself all the way through this, all the way through here. And you're going to go there. And then from this point, you're going to unload 100% of your coal. I mean, you're not going to be able to do it uh, every time, but... For now, we're going to have you do it. The, eventually, what happens is we gather coal fast enough to where none of these locations can deplete their coal, even close to deplete their coal before the train gets back. So having unload 100% of, as long as you don't say wait till unloaded, it allows it to fill up a place and move on to the next place to fill that up and move on to the next place and fill that up, etc. It will always have more because the capacity for the train is always more than what's necessary for the storage. Uh, so I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to have the train go this direction. And tag there. And then at that point, it can then move itself around to get where it needs to go. I'm going to keep it out of this area and tell it to tag here. And then it's going to move itself over and uh, meet up into there. So we'll have it tag, uh, I think, this waypoint so that it stays out of this area too. All right, good. So the coal train has an amended route now that should bring more coal and drop it off here. 
which is going to allow this to work. Now, just to get this working temporarily, because I want this to start heating up the pumps, we're going to just give it a little bit of coal to start. That should be fine. And then now I need to assess where this is going to go, right? Because this isn't done. The heating place is providing heat to a lot of buildings already. Just by itself, we don't need any addi additional exchangers. But this is still over capacity, 284% still over capacity so i need another exchanger and i think i'm gonna put it right here because this exchanger where'd it go this exchanger does not reach past the street basically this is the furthest building so none of these are getting heated and then there's the heat plant here and like those are getting heated but these aren't right so to get everything as well as account for additional buildings coming this direction and this direction actually will be fine because the heat place will take care of it or the heating plant will take care of it. But I think I'm going to put an exchanger right here. So we're going to pull this road back. All the way back. And I think all the way back there too. I think this can stay. We'll we'll see. It might need to pull this back too. You know what? I'm going to do it. I think I probably have to pull it back. Okay. Get the heat exchanger. And we need a big one. So it'll be this one. 300. And I'm going to place it right about here I think. And we'll go ahead and just do a quick dirt road or, yep, a quick dirt road like that. That's fine. Um, let's reconnect the roads. So we'll have you come in, I guess, a lot like this. That works. Good. And then the walking, high autosave. Then the walking path will go here, oh my gosh, here and like this. There we go. And I was, mm, this is kind of pointless, isn't it? What if I went like this? This is, this is doable, right? Yeah. Okay. If anyone wants to use that, they can. I'm not sure why they'd need to, but it's there. Uh, okay. So the heat exchanger is installed. Last thing to do in this area, kind of hoping to get all this stuff done before they build that shipping dock, but I'm not sure they will. I'm not sure I will. Uh, we need the 300 cubic meter pipes and we're going to go underground with this and we're just going to bring it all the way over. Whoop. You know what? Actually, we should go to the second one instead of this. I should, I should bring it over here and wrap it like this. That way, if I want to go more this direction, I don't have to cross the pipe. I can just go straight over. So yeah, we'll plan for the future that way. All right. Substation, looking good, 76%. This has power and the water is getting heated, perfect. I should see this at 220, yeah, okay, 250, all right, fine. So 252, that's 84% now, okay. And then you, you are at 164%. So there's still a capacity problem there. But you can see what we've done, we've, this is a dramatic improvement. It's a big improvement over, um, over what we had. And then coal train can go ahead and deliver the coal very soon. Because the coal train is going to use this track, I'm going to see about getting... See, this This is merging into one and then it merges back to two. I think what I'm going to do is gut this and just have it go a little bit wider. And that way it can go around this uh, substation and everything will be okay. That's what I'm hoping to do anyway. Where is the coal train? There it is. Taking a while, isn't it? Yeah. This is what happens when you play at one time speed. Uh, okay, so that takes care of the coal and the heating for Sostakova, I, I believe. I shouldn't have much of a problem with that anymore, I don't think. Once the water gets heated up, anyway. Now, this heating plant is still providing heat for all of these guys. And so, under the ground, we have everything connected. I don't remember if I showed this. So, all of this is connected and bringing it to these pumps in exchange. Or, yeah, just, just the pumps all the way over to these pumps and then you hit these exchangers, right? And so the the water isn't the hottest it can be, but it's getting there. It's kind of close. And I think it might have something to do with distance. We are going to have another heating plant be over here. And you know, coal supply and stuff can run on this line. This this rail line here is going to actually be a pretty important line as we move forward, mostly because this is where the livestock and stuff will be eventually too. All right, are we good here? Gotta be close. Come on. 311. Screw it. I'm doing it. 
Because I want to see if this... Uh, I, I want to see if the bridge is good enough. So, let's speed time ahead just a little bit more. Get all the work days done. And let's talk about boats. Yeah. The pumping station. We'll, we'll get that. I think we should probably get that going too. Um, I'm just going to pay for this with rubles though. Uh, okay. So, boats. Now, this doesn't need power for you to buy boats here. But because I built it here and the wind turbines are in range, each one of these wind turbines has their own substation attached to them. So you can place these all by themselves with no wires in the vicinity of a building and they will power it. So this is already getting power because of that. Let's take a look at the boats, okay? We got two things we want to do with the boats. The first thing is I want to be able to send vehicle type stuff right uh, in shipping containers uh, so container type objects so for that we need something that can haul vehicles on a flatbed and you can see this one here container express 4.1 uh million rubles can carry 27 20 tons that's pretty bitchin i like that yeah that's pretty good so that is up to i mean this is up to 2700 tons of aluminum 2700 tons of steel etc uh, but we can also do that with, with vehicles. We also have motor ships as well. This can travel 10 knots. This one's 13 knots. And we have 14 knots here, but this is an aggregate type thing. It's like a hopper ship. Might use this for moving... I wanted to say like moving aluminum, but now that I look at this, I don't see aluminum on the list. So maybe not. Or carrier. Uh, meteor. Okay, this is 24 knots. Very fast passenger ship. And then there's the Frida. Now this is the this is the boat I was going to use, 1750, because I th I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary to do anything bigger than this. Container Express, fine. It's a bigger boat. It does more cargo, but I don't think we need any more than this right here. So I think we're going to take the Frida as our first cargo ship. Look at this thing. Just take a moment and look at the boats. Okay, the models are fantastic. They did a really good job on this. Right, just a big old flatbed where you can put stuff on it, right? That's all it is. But look how tall it is. Like this, it comes way up here. And I got a feeling... Ooh, ah, I don't think that's going to clear. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of fuel. So I think we need a fuel boat to take fuel over to places too. Probably should do that. Um, so let's take a look at what a fuel boat would cost. I actually haven't looked at this yet. This is the Pride. It's a tanker. 19... 250 tons. Okay, that's 23 million. We don't need that. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, can we have a different tanker by chance? How about this one? Yeah, the full end tanker. 850 tons. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> Let's do this one. Okay, 1 million. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. We have a boat. We have a ship that's waiting too long. I'm hoping that's waiting too long because something ran out of fuel. Uh, oh. This is still a problem. Really? Really? Huh. Go back to Sosnikova, please. That's peculiar. How did that become a problem still? Wait a minute. Where are my signals? You know what? I need to I need to create a bypass here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that eventually. You're not gonna do it, are you? You know, you're totally not gonna do it. All right, here's what I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna have you go back to Chem Pass One, and then that will fix everything. And then we're not gonna have passengers here, but whatever. All right, so I spent a ton of money today on boats, right? Let's take a look at um, our fuel pump here, because we're gonna need to provide fuel here so that the fuel tanker ship can do its thing. Are you still? Come on. Go. Go on. Shoo shoo. Go do your thing. Go on. Go on. I need I need to I need a, a new solution to this. This doesn't this isn't working. My signals are not stopping the boat. I think this part here is it's not fully stopping the boat where it should like th that boat should have stopped boat no ship uh train wow damn it uh it, it should have stopped here while this was heading in like it that should have happened it should have stopped here while this one was going but it, it didn't do that and i'm starting to think that maybe 
it should be something closer to... Mm, tell you what I could do is I, I could say... Uh, no chains here. I'll look at this offline and figure it out. I want I had a goal today and I want to want to meet that goal. So we disconnected this from fuel, right? And we're almost depleting it. We can almost get rid of this. But we still have to do stuff under the ground. So this is the fuel tank and it's sending it off to this pump. Now we still want fuel in here so that we could sell it, right? We still want that to happen. So I can't get rid of this pump entirely, but what I can do is move the pump because this is maximum dura or maximum distance already. And if I do what I'm going to hope to do here, which won't look very clean, I admit, it won't look very clean underground, but it's underground. You don't have to see it, okay? That's my defense, as long as you don't have to see it. So we're going to take this pipe, and I think I could pull it back to here and have it not be a problem, but we'll go one more. We'll go to, like, right here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish this. This removes this pipe as well, all the way up to there. And we're gonna take this pipe back to about here. Probably a bit, to actually to about here. We're gonna replace the underground pumping station to be here. Now, this is not gonna have a road connection, and that's completely fine with me. That we have helicopters for this very reason. And then what this is gonna do is, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go under a little bit. There we go, okay. That's gonna reconnect the pump and all of its stuff to this tank. But we're now moving it back. And the reason we wanna move it back is because we need a little bit more distance on this side. So I'm gonna have another pump. Hi, autosave. We're gonna have another pump over here. This is the underground pumping station here. And I'm gonna lay it on, I think right about, uh, right about here should be fine. I'm just, I'm worried about that pipe. I think if I position this right on top of it, it should be all right. And then now I have the problem with the road though. Yeah, I think it's probably better to put it this way. So if I position this here, the underground, uh, yeah, this underground pipe can now come around and connect to this. And then you are gonna come this way and connect to that. There we go. So again, it doesn't look the cleanest, but it works. We're now pumping the fuel out of this into a pump, which then pumps it back over to this pump and then over. Now, why do that? Well, it's because I want this fuel to also move somewhere else. And I want it to move to uh, another tank. Now this is an oil tank, so I need another tank. And I think we're gonna make it here. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna make it right here, I guess. It's this, we're gonna use this road as our road connection for it too, I guess. So we'll go right about like this. And then we want the underground, we want this pump that we just made, this one, to provide it to here. Ooh, 333, so close. Yep, provide it to there. And then this goes straight to here. All right, and then we're gonna tell the game to store fuel here, if it doesn't already. There we go. And so that's gonna be fuel only. And it should start receiving fuel now, yep. Okay, this is our fuel source for the pumping station, which we're gonna go ahead and buy here. Now that I've blown through all my money, do you see that? I had 9.3 million and now I have nothing. This is why I banked. <laughs> I'm like, what I wanna do today is gonna be expensive. Cause I want to get the boats running, man. Let's talk about what the boats are gonna be doing. And I'm gonna have to rebuild this too, which is probably like another four million. So I, I think I'm gonna have to rebuild that. I, I fear I will, let's, let's see. If I tell you to take a stop and I want you to stop here. And at this stop, I want you to wait till you're loaded with all the vehicles you can get. And then you're gonna take those to the Soviet countries, okay? So we're just gonna sell it to the Soviet countries. If I say go, ah, yeah, okay. That's what I suspected. So this is not gonna be able to get through here. We're gonna have to rebuild these bridges and they're gonna have to be a little bit longer or a little bit taller, I mean. So there's no clearance. Uh, so let's just tech really quick. Okay, so you have no power supply. We can change that. 
really quick just get you powered. Um, we'll put in... Uh, you know... Actually, we have another... Yeah, we're over here. Okay. So we're just going to set this right here. That'll provide power for it. I kind of want to go closer. Yeah. About like this. And then uh, connect to the road. Connect you to the road. And then uh, we want... Let's just put the two. It's fine. The, the max max bandwidth little cable there. And you have power. You have power. Okay. So you're going to start bringing fuel in persistently. All the time. As we make more fuel, this will keep going. Okay. And that's going to have to run for a little bit. So you can kind of start filling up. But at the end of the day, this fuel tanker is going to go here and load up on fuel. Wait till loaded. And then you're going to unload it over here. And you're going to, I guess you're not going to need to wait till unloaded. So the reason for us to unload it here is because each one of these, the shipping dock has internal storage for fuel. And that's more than sufficient to provide fuel for the ships that are going to be docking here to take stuff and move it where we need it to go. Like more than sufficient. It's going to be fine. The next thing I want to do is I want to start moving the UF-6. Now I've gone back and forth on this idea. The UF-6 is there's a lot of money here okay uh in this if we were to do math which you know whatever do the math if you want to this is full see this see this truck it's sitting here because it can't unload because this hasn't brought over enough yet right it's got to bring it over uh also i just want to see really quick chemicals yep our chemical train's doing good things stop yep see we're not auto buying chemicals anymore and we're still doing really well there good um so this is full there's 168 tons of uf6 you do the math on this i'm not going to do it because it's embarrassing <laughs> uh everyone who has a calculator can do it better than i can in my head but basically the price per ton on uf6 is 39,738. okay so almost 40,000 rubles you times that by 168 tons that's a lot. I think it's like 5 million rubles. Okay? Somewhere around that vicinity. Just that's a that's my ballpark off my off the wall. Think about it for 5 seconds answer. Now, with 5 million, that's pretty good. Okay? No no joke. That's a lot of haul. That's a good haul. We have 18 tons of nuclear waste and exporting that is like 1900. So, that the 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 ship that brings this this stuff out is going to be a monster when it comes to value. Okay? But we could have the UF-6 converted again to more nuclear fuel because we are overproducing nuclear fuel, right? And if we do that, then we sell the nuclear fuel for wherever it is. Uh, nuclear fuel. We sell it. Oh, I, I, I misread this. UF-6, sorry. It's 35,900. So it's almost 36,000. To sell it. I don't want to look at the buy price. You want to look at the sell price. So about 36000 to sell it. The nuclear fuel, however, is 690000 per ton. So if I can convert this to more, then that would be a huge export. To do that is going to require getting workers into here. And thankfully, we have quite a few citizens that do not have a job. Go figure! So I can have a couple of these guys go to a different bus station and take them over, which is what I intend to do. So we're going to have a trolley bus road. Or I won't. What's going on? Huh? Okay. We can do it from this side. I think I want a trolley bus road that takes things, takes people right through here. Oh, you know what? Let's finish this. I want this rail done. It's not getting done. You know, let's let's not do, let's not do the trolley bus yet. Let's just make sure we can do this first, because I don't want to invest in something and have it not work. We'll go about here, right there, and then come over. Yeah, hi. Curve the road, I guess. And come this way, straight across here. Good enough. We meet up to here. All right. Um, this is going to be built with resources. I don't need to worry about this. And we'll have the helicopters bring the asphalt 
uh, over to here. Yeah. So this road is going to bring p passengers from here over to here. We can set up another nuclear facility over in this area. So let's just really quick take away this power that's out of the way. Clear this area. It's out of the way. And we'll have this, have the power lines here go on this side of the tracks. Just so it's kind of out of my way. And looks like it's here. Pull it back to there, I guess. And then stick you in like that. Okay. So we cannot have the train and all that stuff. They're not going to be able to reach, right? All these, all these buildings are really too far away. So we're going to have it here instead. To do this, I kind of want to connect this storage that I already have in place to this new nuclear facility. And then I can have the waste brought here directly while having UF6 brought here. So I think that's how we're going to do this. I'm going to start that now, actually. Your route is no longer bringing to the shipment uh, containers. You're bringing it here instead. And you're going to unload your vehicles here instead. So not this anymore. Here we go. That's your new route. So you bring the waste directly here. Now, with that being done, we can take nuclear... Uh, yeah, this. And we go with here. Nuclear fuel fabrication. We need chemicals here. I need to bring chemicals here. I could auto buy. It's still an option to auto buy. I'm not opposed to it. Um, but if I can get chemicals, then I should. You know what I mean? Like chemical train can go here, drop it off, and then come over here and drop off and then head back. That's something we could do with it. So uh, why don't we go ahead and have this chemical facility be right about here. And let's not build this with rubles. Right about like this. You're directly connected here. We can put the UF6 right there. Okay. And then chemicals needs to be over here. So we'll have chemicals brought over here. And I think it'll probably be... Uh, yeah. So how to do that exactly... The rail is going to have to wind around, but I, th I think we can make this work. If I go like this and have the rail come off of here, and then it goes like this, and then it goes over like this, and then it comes back and connects like that. That's still fine. We'll build that with rubles. Okay, good. And then all of this gets built with our construction facility that we have. So we'll have a gravel a gravel road that goes through. Honestly, we could just do the dirt road off of here. I mean, I don't care. Yeah, like that. So chemicals get dropped off here and then off you go. UF6 is going to be brought here and then off you go. So how are we bring in the UF6? So this train's got a lot of construction materials on it. It's been dropping things off for construction projects. As we build more, this train is going to continue to offload. What I'm going to have this train do is I'm going to take away your extra stops. All your extra stops. And what I'm going to do for now, since you need two stops, is I'm going to have you just, just do this. You're going to unload and then um, do nothing. So you're going to end up just doing nothing here. And you're going to sit here for a bit. So after you've unloaded, right, it's 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 unload, wait till unloaded, and then do nothing, right? You're just going to sit here. And once all the construction materials on the, on the train is offloaded from all these different projects, then what we're going to do is have this train with all of its flatbeds. It's going to come over here. It's going to unload the UF-6. And it's going to bring it over to the storage facility, okay? And then this one has... Okay, pause. See, flatbeds bringing dozer. It does happen. See, I do have flatbeds. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to show you. It is happening. All right. It's been happening all by itself. I don't have to do it. Um, yeah, roads are going to get built. And then I need a helicopter network to do that. So I have to manually select that because it's too far away. It's auto search is 3,000 meters. But you can tell it to do things at any distance. So I need the helicopters to bring the asphalt. 
these structures, just to help out with these structures. Uh, so we'll have that happen and that should be good. I'll have you help with these two buildings since they're not done yet. All right, good. All right, I'm gonna let it run just for a little bit because we have to rebuild this. Uh, to get the ships actually working, we have to rebuild this. And to be honest, I have to ha I have a little bit of time until I can do it anyway, just because I want the, the stuff on that train to be gone. I could, alternatively, just have that train go and sell it. Uh, just have the train go and, uh, you know, go to a border and sell all the stuff you have and then go back. But I'm going to let it go for, uh, for a little bit. And then I've been constantly looking for this symbol. This little, I need fuel symbol. There's a train around here somewhere. It's going to have that symbol. I just, I got to figure out where it's going to be. And then as soon as I see that, that's when, you know, it's like the, the clothing train and stuff. As soon as I see that, then I know it's time to upgrade that specific train. Because there's only, I think there's only two trains left that, that fit that description. Something that's burning diesel. But this is gone now. We don't need it. So what I can do now is take this truck that's not doing anything. Why don't we reassign you somewhere? Yeah, reassign you to you. What? You only have one truck? And you're responsible for all these... Wait a minute. How are you responsible for... The gravel? Hmm... I mean, we have dedicated trucks for the gravel anyway. Maybe you were bringing fuel to the gravel? Yeah. Okay. That's... That's a thing, you know. I mean, I, well, that was that's that's something. I'm not sure why you don't have any vehicles. I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll fill you up with, yeah, like that. Okay, you can have those four, and then I'm gonna give you this extra one. Where is it? Right here. You. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go. Oh, you're already going to the depot. Okay. And then I want you to unload fuel there. Unload fuel there. Unload fuel there. Uh huh. On the gravel processing. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna whatever processing plant doesn't need you to do it uh and then we have gravel and fuel uh, you're gonna load where where are you loading over here let's have let's change that and have you instead load the fuel uh from over here right uh here okay and then you can load the fuel there Good, and then we want you to do it at like 80%. All right, go. So distribution office, off you go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> More distribution happening, okay. Um. Okay, yeah, so let's let it run. I need to get my fuel export again. Another 2 million rubles or so. I probably need two or three of those exports, I would think, to get the bridges rebuilt. And then we can continue. One other thing before we go though, plastics. We're full. These warehouses are only 30% plastic and we've actually filled them up, uh, which is great because now we can start accumulating more chemicals in the warehouses and this train can start accumulating more chemicals in it. But the plastics, that's a problem. So I, I want to be able to store more plastic. So with that being said, I'm just gonna have these guys start building two new warehouses here and here as sort of a overflow, let's say, for plastics. And we're just going to have... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just have this with resources. So um, this will serve as an overflow. So the trucks are going to come around and be like, okay, and I'll use this. I'll use this distribution center. Perfect. We'll have the distribution center pull plastics out of these four locations and bring them to these two locations. Easy. Um, that way, we will be completely full of plastics over here. And then when it comes time to transport plastics, we can then have the plastics moved over into this. Um, we can just basically reverse the process if we need to, or we can set up, you know, some sort of truck-based distribution to bring it to another train and then have that train go. But um, I just want to have some sort of overflow so that these things aren't sitting here doing absolutely nothing until we have like two whole warehouses completely full of plastics. And then at that point, feel free to sit there and do nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually wrap the video here. It's pretty long, we've done some stuff. Uh, next video, probably gonna be rebuilding those bridges and uh, getting that fuel distribution going even more. So uh, come on back for that one. We'll, we'll definitely be going with fuel a little bit more there. Take care, bye.